Hey guys and welcome to another rock painting video. Today we are going to paint some beautiful Halloween rocks for hiding. What you will need to get started are acrylic paints, a cup of water, various sizes of paintbrushes, wooden dowels for dotting, and your rocks that have already been cleaned and dried. To add tags to the back of your rocks, you will need printed tags, Mod Podge, and also acrylic top coat to seal your paint and tags. First, we are going to start off by painting a base coat on the rocks. For this ghost rock, I'm going to start by painting a white base. I only paint the front side of the rocks to make it easier for the tags to be glued onto the back. Now, moving on to my next ghost rock, obviously also using another white base. And for the base coats on my rocks, I do usually do two coats of a base. So I put on the first coat, wait for it to dry, and then do the second coat. Now for my pumpkin rocks, I'm going to start with an orange base. This one definitely needs two coats. And for my black cat rock, I'm going to start with a black base. Here I'm going to paint two eyes on my ghost using a small paintbrush. I found this to be a little harder than I expected and switched over to using a wooden dowel for dotting on my second ghost rock. The wooden dowel made even circles and was much easier to control. Just look at how cute these ghosts turned out. Now on to my cat rock. I am starting with a white paint and a very thin paintbrush. I'm going to make two triangular ears. Now I'm going to use yellow paint to make the eyes. Because sometimes the yellow paint can be splotchy, I did have to go back and do a second coat on the eyes. A small pink nose, and now I will wait for all that to dry. Now for my pumpkin rocks, I am using black paint and a thin paintbrush to make triangular eyes. I then made a typical jack-o'-lantern smile and added a few teeth. You can make any face design that you want, just like on a regular pumpkin. I also added some green leaves to the top. I 
I then painted the remaining pumpkin racks with different faces, as you can see here. Now time for my candy corn rack. This one is just so fun. I'm using yellow to make the middle stripe of the candy corn. Now I am adding orange on the bottom of the candy corn. And back to my black cat. Now that there are two dry coats on the yellow eyes, I'm adding the black pupils to the cat's eyes. I'm making them in a long almond shape. And going back with some yellow to fix my mistake. Finally, I'm going to add some white painted whiskers with a really thin brush. Once the paint on the rocks has dried completely, I'm going to add our tag to the back of the rock using Mod Podge. These are what our tags say, and we use the hashtag Team Fallows Rocks. Now I'm going to seal my rocks with an acrylic top coat spray. I just take them all outside and use something to lay them on. I spray them all with the spray and wait for them to dry completely. Once they are all dry, I flip them over and then spray the other side. And that's it. These Halloween rocks turned out so well and I can't wait to hide them for someone else to find. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun videos from our family. Team Palace Rocks!